you haven't lived if you haven't tried deep fried chocolate. This idea came to me from my love of chocolate and my love of anything deep fried. And no, we're not, you know, just deep frying candy bars today. That's so yesterday. This is actual deep fried chocolate and is the most amazing thing ever. Okay, so to make my deep fried chocolate, you'll need, of course, some chocolate. We're gonna melt this in the microwave, stirring it every 40 seconds until it's fully melted, or you can use a double boiler if you don't have a microwave. Now we're essentially making a type of ganache here, so I am gonna use some cream. However, you can also use condensed milk or even whole milk. You want to stir this well until the chocolate and the cream are fully melted. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. You're going to pour this delicious mixture into a 7 or 8 inch square pan lined with parchment paper and this needs to chill in the fridge until it hardens. Okay, so fast forward, you can just transfer the chocolate onto some parchment paper. However, it's summer, it's 100 degrees here. If you don't dust your work surface, this will just stick like crazy. If you're watching this video in winter, hello people of the future or hello Australia, you probably can skip this step. Does the top as well. I'm using cocoa powder, but you can also use cornstarch. We're going to cut this bar into bars. Now you don't have to be precise here. However, if you cut the bars too big, what's going to happen is the chocolate is not going to melt. When I was developing this recipe, I experimented quite a lot. Excuse the tuna in the background. I noticed that if the chocolate is too big, it's just not going to melt. We want a nice melted gooey chocolate center. Otherwise, why would you do deep fried chocolate? I want to say, each bar should be around one inch thickness a little more a little less it's fine you're gonna skewer each piece of chocolate and we're gonna make what i call chocolate dogs these are amazing now the only downside about this recipe is that you are gonna have to freeze these overnight if you don't freeze these overnight the chocolate will just ooze out into the oil at this point of the video some of you may be thinking well why not just do you know deep fried candy bars deep fried chocolate bars it's much faster well chocolate bars will never melt as ganache melts the point of doing deep fried chocolate is that you get this explosion of liquid chocolate in your mouth and candy bars just don't do that they just don't okay so freeze these overnight and we're ready to deep fry the batter is so simple you'll need some milk and eggs whisked together i'll leave the precise ingredient amounts in the description box as always or if you want the full written recipe you can head over to my website once the wet ingredients are combined you can add the sugar and the cornmeal we are making corn dogs chocolate dogs you gotta trust me on this okay they're gonna be fabulous these are gonna be soft and absolutely beautiful and tender do not skip the cornmeal at this point, you can add the sifted baking powder and flour. Now, this is where you don't want to overmix. This batter contains no butter, no oil. So there's really nothing in there that can inhibit gluten development. So just mix until everything is combined and you don't see any more lumps of flour. We're going to transfer this into a tall glass because it's just easier, you know, to dip your chocolate um, dog into the tall glass and before we deep fry i do want to mention this as the batter sits it will start to thicken so you do want to give it a quick mix before you dip the dogs <laughs> that sounds so weird shake off the excess cocoa and dip each piece of chocolate into the batter you do want to swirl it that way the batter coats every bit of the chocolate you want to do this one or two at a time because these fry up really quickly you'll be shocked how quickly these cook your oil needs to be really hot never deep fry an oil that hasn't come up to the right temperature which in this case should be anywhere between 160 to 180 degrees Celsius or 320 350 Fahrenheit you do want to swirl these in the oil for even cooking or just completely submerge them in the oil please be careful you'll know these are cooked when they become a beautiful deep golden brown they'll be absolutely beautiful and just look amazing Okay, let these sit for two minutes or, you know, you'll burn yourself, but you do want to serve these fresh and hot with some powdered sugar on top. No words can describe how good these are. You're just going to have to make these yourself to see how amazing these are. They're fluffy and soft and absolutely delicious. You'll love these. 